Hi, I'm Ranger Kaylee. And I'm Seasonal Ranger Megan, and we are so excited to bring you another video from Frozen Head State Park. Today, we are gonna talk about the smaller things in life. Oftentimes, we get caught up on the bigger things, like the tall trees, the distant mountains, and the puffy clouds. But we wanna take a different perspective or view on things, just so we can get a better understanding. Today, we're gonna be backyard scientists, and we are gonna learn that even the small things play a big role. To notice the small things, Megan and myself have to change our perspective or view. Take these seeds, for example. They are eventually gonna turn into a young tree or a sapling. Over time, this sapling is gonna turn into a strong, resilient, and tall tree. Take spiders, for example. They spend most of their time spinning a web so that they can capture food for themselves. Spiders eat insects such as mosquitoes, which can be irritating and pesky for humans. Have your parent or guardian answer this question in the comments below. How many legs does a spider have? Take grass for example. It provides shelter and food for tiny insects such as caterpillars and grasshoppers. It also keeps our dirt from moving or washing away, which we call erosion. Megan and I are taking time to observe nature's small wonders. We're using magnifying glasses, and if you don't have one of these at home, we can show you how to make one. The first activity we're going to do is we're going to make a magnifying glass. For this, you're gonna need a marker, some scissors, and an empty water bottle. You will also need an adult's help. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your marker and your empty water bottle and you are going to draw a line around the bottle. Once you have put that line on the bottle, this is where you're going to need an adult's help. So with an adult's help, you are going to use scissors and cut this. Once it's cut, you will have something that looks like this. This is going to be your magnifying glass. You will pour water in here and use it closely to the ground. And boom, your objects are bigger. Join us in this activity so that you can get an understanding of the small things in nature. What we're gonna do is the backyard shuffle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your feet together and you're gonna start shuffling forward. What you're gonna see is tiny little insects popping out from the, from the grass. And then you're gonna crouch, crouch down and use your magnifying glass to inspect what's going on. All things in nature are different or diverse, just like you are from us. Megan and I are different. I have short red hair. And I have long brown hair. How are you diverse? Let's always remember to treat everything and everybody kindly, because as we've learned, we all play an important role in nature and being diverse is what makes us all special.